Friends, I'd like to show you a prototype I did for Scratch. It's about nestable sprites. Let's start with painting a sprite. This one is going to be a wheel. And now fill in some code which will turn the wheel when the green flag is pressed. Now let's draw another sprite, which will be the base of the wheel. Once that is finished, we can attach the wheel to the base by dropping its library icon onto the base sprite. And this will also show in the library icons. Now we can grab the composite sprite and drag it around and we can also resize the composite sprite correctly. This behaves as if it were a single sprite, yet the scripts run independently of each other. Let's add another sprite, which will be a cabin. Be sure to adjust the costume center to where the cabin is going to be attached to the ferris wheel. Now again, we're going to attach the cabin to the wheel by dropping its library icon onto the wheel sprite. Now, if we start the wheel, the cabin will turn along with the wheel, as if it were a part of the wheel. We can adjust the layers by grabbing and dropping the individual sprites even while they're attached to each other. Now I'm fitting in the code for the cabin and it's again very simple, it will just always point to its default direction. Now let's resize this cabin. It looks a little too big. And then let's add some more cabins by just duplicating the one we already have. Move it to where it is supposed to be attached. And then be sure to, to drop the library icon of each cabin onto the wheel sprite. supposed to be, we can move the whole composite sprite, we can resize it, and we can use it just as if it were a single picture. And that's the idea behind the nestable sprites prototype for scratch.